So what we're going to do now is uh, learn how to draw this cheeky fellow here and we're going to have him pull in this silly face just like he is there. So let's get that out of the way. And get myself another piece of paper. And as usual I'm going to start with simple shapes. So nice big round shape for his head. And a similar sort of shape for his body not significantly bigger than the head because he's much younger. A couple of little round eyes at the top here. That's where his ears are going to go roughly. And I'm going to draw in this kind of nose shape, the bare nose shape, and then put his actual nose in the middle there. Now the difficulty that you have with this particular pose is that I don't want him to have great big long arms but he's got to manage to reach up to his ears so I think we'll put a shape there where his paw is actually going to end up and then join it up so I'm not going to take it from here I'm going to take it from here so it's coming from there so it just makes it slightly less long still pretty long but and get away with a certain amount. And then his legs are going to be quite short and bendy knees again, just always slightly bendy knees, even if he's actually standing up straight. It just makes it look more natural. Just draw his padded feet in. Very roughly. So we've got more or less what we need. I'm going to have him wearing his little stripy trousers. So I'm just going to put a mark in for where the trousers come. Now they're going to start around his middle, so it's sort of around the waist kind of area. But you don't want a straight line, you want a curvy line, which is easier to draw if you turn the paper sideways. And if you draw a curvy line, it just makes his belly look naturally round. <clears throat> right, I'm going to go over the top of it now. So. Let's get these eyes in first. And he's going to be looking at us. Let's see if I can do this better this time. That's better. Good. Like the other bear, he's got furry bits, furry bags under his eyes, really, I suppose. And I'm going to colour in his nose just like I did last time, shading it but leaving a little white bit and then putting these two nostrils in just that much darker. And it's a bit like when you draw the cat and you have a Y-shaped nose and it's filled in. So I'm going to give him a little cheeky grin in there. And before I draw this in properly, I'm going to put in a little stuck out tongue. There we are. So let's draw this. And I'm going to sort of shape that just slightly more, just dint it in. It's almost like a pear actually that goes in there, doesn't it? And then fatter at the base. So it's a little bit more individuality. Make it a grin better. Some whiskery bits. And as soon as you start to put the little teeth in, it starts to make him look slightly more berry and less teddy berry, which I think is quite fun. Yeah. And I'm going to put a bit of spit there where he's blowing his raspberry. <laughs> the top of his head's going to have a bit more shaping, just like with the big bear. And these ears are a bit more big and fluffy than the large bear. I'm going to be a bit careful here because I'm going to need to put his hand in, he's pouring, so I'm just going to leave room. Okay. I'm going to put the sides of the head in. So I'm using these sort of marks to make it just slightly furry there and then just smoothing it off underneath. So 
right, let's try and deal with these pores. So the best thing to do is to do the pads. So we're going to put a big pad in the circle, uh, in the centre. Then his thumb is going to be the bit that's going into his ear. Put a pad there for the thumb. And then one, two, three more pads. And then what you do is you just kind of draw around those pads. And it gives you, they're not exactly fingers, but it's got a lot more feature than just a flat, round pad. That pole rather. Shake those in. And then that's going to come round. That'd be his arm. Now he's not as sort of shaggy as the other way. I've just put a few little marks on his elbow. Now I think he still looks as though that arm is a bit big. So what I'm going to do is make his sides come out a little bit more to help that. I think that could be better. So let's do the other one. Uh, central pad. One in his ear. One, two, three. And then we're going to draw little lumps around his individual digits. And then just curve that in. Shake them in. And bring that round. Bit of a furry elbow again. And just like on the other side, I'm going to make his sides wider so that his elbow aren't quite as long. Right, so let's uh, get the top of his trousers in again. I'm going to turn it around so it's a, yeah, a lovely smooth arc. His sides have got to be extended out a little. Now I need to actually dress him now. I'm going to put the trousers on properly. So he's got sort of baggy kind of long shorts. The kind of thing that toddlers often wear. And I'm again curving that slightly. It just makes him more three dimensional. Curving that round and giving him sort of shaggy toes. So his feet are just one big furry lump, really. And again, this is our opportunity to make sure the feet are approximately the same size. There. Now, we're going to make him look even more naughty. And the way to do that is with eyebrows. So if I put two eyebrows down in the middle, he would just look plain mean. And one thing that works quite well is if you put one down and then you put the other one slightly up and it's sort of more cheeky really. Um, what else is there to do? Uh, I think I need to put some movement marks I think over here to make his sort of pause wiggle. So just like we did before is the echo of where this part of his paw was. And that makes that move a little bit more. I think all that's left now is the stripes on his trousers. So this is quite tricky though because you've got the width of his belly which gets sort of rounded. So the way to start is in the middle where it would be straight and then work your way round just gradually making the lines slightly bendy as you go. Don't worry about his legs yet. Okay, so it's slightly bendier as it goes around. There we are. Just a little bit more curved at the edges. And then all we do is take those stripes down his legs. Straighten them out. So again, it follows the shape of the trouser leg. And when you do this, sometimes, this is not bad actually, but sometimes it doesn't look that equally distanced here. And so then that's where you go over the top, just altering it and uh, tidying it up. This could be more curved, I think, so I'm going to just make that echo that shape more. And 
watching quite you know, surprisingly even. <laughs> Doesn't always work out that well. Now obviously if you were colouring that in you'd get your colour pencils out. I'm just going to quickly shade him. So his trousers stand out against his belly. There we are. And a little bit of shadow I think under him just to make him sit on the floor. So you want the darkest shadow under his feet, right where his feet touch the ground and then just less so there. There we are. One very cheeky bear. 